Hi, this is Heather from Party Masters, and today I'm going to show you how to make the airplane. So, we want to blow up a balloon with a good five fingers of length here. I like to um, tie this one without a lot of nozzle left on them. Okay, just so that you uh, have more space in the balloon because you've got a couple of big wings and you've got the long um, passenger area. So make about an almost two inch cylinder, okay? Then you're going to make two pinch twists, but make them just about as little as you can make them without them coming apart, okay? Make them quite small and try to get them roughly the same size. Now, sometimes it doesn't hurt to give that a little twist if you feel like anything is going to come undone there. Okay, that is going to give you the end of the plane. The next thing you want to do is the passenger area. Okay, give that a twist. Now, I did... Um, what would that be? About six or seven inches. I should get a, a ruler. But anyways, you want to make this, uh, let's go with fingers, about eight fingers long. I always have my fingers. I don't always have a ruler. Now we want to do a smaller, like one inch bubble, which I am going to turn into a pinch twist. And then you want to do a larger pinch twist. So make this a little bit squishy, roughly two inch. You want it nice and squishy because you're going to turn that one into a pinch twist as well. Now the idea between these pinch twists, this is going to hold the bottom wings together. And this is going to be the top for the actual like cockpit area. Now you've got the rest of your balloon. You should still have a good couple of um, fingers left. Give this a good little squeeze, okay, so that up here is quite firm. Then take your hand, if you can manage it, and do about a two and a half inch chamber, okay? Then this should be a little squishy and that is going to be our wings. So put that together. Okay, go ahead and stick that cockpit through if you want to help lock it together. Put the two ends up like this and split them in half. Okay, and then go down and twist them together. Once on that side, once on that side. Now we just have the figuring which goes where thing to do. So we want this on the bottom of the plane, the small one, okay? Then we want the wings to be beside that. And the big one goes up on the top. Now I'll admit to you, I did not find this one easy to do at first. I found this part in particular a little difficult and you are welcome to find an easier way if you have one. Okay, now for the face, let's try to do this before my little uh, pinch twist <laughs> disappears on me. I think there's a little hole in there. If I was doing this for a child, I would absolutely replace this. I would not give this to them when I can clearly see that it is deflating. But for the sake of a video, I'm going to give them a couple of eyes, just like I've done over here. And then make a small dot. And then you're going to make three sign of propellers. You can do them rounded, you can do them however you like. Do one longer line coming off the top and a shorter line, longer line, shorter line, longer, 
shorter. And what that's gonna give you is this look of it actually moving. You can make that a little larger if you did a bit of a messy put together like I did. And then you want to put some windows on. I prefer to do all of my work the same direction as I find it takes less time instead of like moving it back and forth and being like, you know. So I would do all my lines along there and then all my lines along here instead of flipping it over. And then you will have your plane. Just like this. <laughs> the perfectly good one. <laughs> Now, of course, you could do the windows on both sides. If you're in a big rush, just do a couple big windows and that would be good enough. So um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I will see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>